Hello Joy friends, welcome to Yarn Joy Adventures with Cynthia. My name is Cynthia with Cynthia's Joyful Creations and I am happy to be here with you. If you are a returning Joy friend, well, welcome back. And if you are a new Joy friend, welcome to the Joyful Creations family and Yarn Joy Adventures. Now, here lately on Yarn Joy Adventures, I have been crocheting for 30 minutes at least Monday through Friday, and then coming on and showing you everything that I have been able to do in that individual day. And while that is a great idea, sometimes it is not always that simple in the Joyful House to be able to do those quick little recordings every day. So I think what I may do is still do my little bit of crocheting Monday through Friday, but then come in at the end of the week and show you what I've gotten completed. And so that's what we're gonna do. So welcome to September 18th through the 22nd, and let me show you what I have been able to get done this week. To start with, I have worked on several towel toppers, and this is the first one. And I am in love with this yarn, or the colorway of this yarn. It's an off-white, and it has like specks of brown and green in it, but it is really pretty and it goes very well with this towel, this fall puppy towel. All right, I still have to put buttons on all of these. So if you want, I can include this in next week's video and show you the buttons that I've put on it. All right, I still have to weave in the end tail, but I do that because it helps me um, keep an eye out for you know, which is the right side and the wrong side. And even though I can look at it and tell, it just makes it fast and simple for me to have that when I'm sewing the button on. So we have that one. And then the next one we have, this is actually gonna get put away to go with the spring towels, but isn't that just really pretty? I just love how cheerful and bright that is. All right, here is another fall towel. And again, if you will, kind of notice the differences in the towel topper trims. This one here, um, I've done this way. This is the original way. Um, this is one that I have a tutorial out on already. But isn't that pretty? Very fall color. All right. But this one has a new edging on it that I just designed, and I absolutely love it. What do you think? I would love to hear your opinion on what you think. So here is my original, and here is the new one that I just did. So you can tell me, do you like one or two better? I would love to know your opinion. But while I love both of them, I, I do like that for a change up. But I'd like to know what you think, because what you think matters, and it may depend on how I do them going forward. Here's another one that I got done, and again, I've got to get buttons on all of these, but isn't that a cute puppy one? And the lighting is not showing it very well, but this is a light gray, actually. A very light gray. Let me see if I can turn some lighting on that might help it. Oh yeah, there you go. There you can see it. That is great. And this one here also has the original trim on it there. All right. And here is another one that I completed. And it has a fox and a raccoon, and up here, hidden a little bit, is an owl. And again, that has the original. And here's another owl, fox, and raccoon one. And I've done it in kind of this mustard-looking color. But I love that. That one's one of my favorites. And then here is the last towel topper that I did this week. And it has the new design on it as well. And it's in gray. 
to kind of bring out the gray in the raccoon. But again, let me know what you think about my new design. All right, that's it for towel toppers. And as you know, I did get to work on the Stranger Things blanket and a new tutorial went out. We added four waffles to it. And I will put a picture up here so you can see that as well. All right. And then you know that I was making the large project bag for, you know, in honor of Sylvia. And that was one side panel. And this is the other side panel. And the last time I showed you this project, I was working on what's going to be a, a pretty wide side. You can see where I had to change yarn because I ran out and had to start a new skein. And then this pinkish one is going to be the bottom of the bag. And then this is another side panel. So I got the side and the bottom done. All I need now to finish this is to make the handle straps and then put it together. So hopefully we'll get to see that project completed next week. And then also this week, I have started working on, you know, one of the kind of boho bags that we're doing with stitching together with friends and I've got my bag done and put together and there's my zipper and the bag and I did it a little different than what we did with stitching together with friends my friend Tasha actually came up with this idea and we worked over the top of the bag and actually close it in so even the top of the bag is crocheted and I really like that. I'm not finished with it. I'm starting to add my fringe and you can see I decided to add some beads with this. Now this one here only has six strands and this one here has eight or nine strands and so I like it better with the thickness so I'm gonna have to pull this one out and add just a little bit more um, tassel strands to it but it's going to go all the way across and then I'll cut those and make them even when I'm done. So I will show you this bag completed next week. But not bad for 30 minutes at least for five days. I think I got a lot done and accomplished. I know I am certainly proud of what I have done. So all of these projects I will bring back and show you next week with buttons on the towels and the boho bag completed with the beads and the tassels and then the large project bag uh, with the handles made and sewn together. All right. Well, this has been Yarn Joy Adventures for the week of September 18th through the 22nd. I hope that you have enjoyed watching what I have successfully been able to make. I would love to hear about what you're making, and um, if you want to send me pictures of things you're working on, you can always send those to my email address at CynthiasJoyfulCreations at gmail.com. It's located on my About page, and if you do, I'll show your makes in my Yarn Joy Adventures as well, and it can be our Yarn Joy Adventures. All right. Well, take care. Be joyful. Stay crafty in your own way. Make your own joyful creations. And above everything else, be kind to one another and be kind to yourself. All right. Nugs and joy. Mwah.